Naam, alhamdulillah. The question is that if someone he is free, it has a much time to spend for dhikru, is it permissible for that person to do more than 100? No. If it's in a counting number, it should not be more than 100. But if one has a much more time for dhikru, it is better for him not to count, just be uh, chanting the, the, the dhikru without num without number. Yeah. So one can make, we can use one hour for chanting of la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, Allah akbar, Allah akbar. One hour, two hours, a complete day, no problem. Why you don't know the number of the dhikru you've made? Yes, there are references and examples like that in the life and the practices of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But if you want to make a limited dhikru, then the number should not exceed hundred. Yes, you can make three, you can make one, you can make eleven, you can make nine, you can make twenty-one, you can make twenty-five, thirty-three, thirty, thirty-one, and so on and so forth, up to hundred. But it should not be more than hundred. If it is more than hundred, then you shouldn't give him a, a limited number. Uh -huh. So those who will say that one should chant 101 or 111, you now ask, where did they get 111? Who gave you that number? There is no doubt that the number is given by the jinn, the evil spirit. So the Muslim should not partake in that practice. Allah alam.